All right, let's look at the writing that you're going to continue once you get into lessons three and four. In lesson three, once you've spent a good amount of time on the first five pages, which give you your reading and language activities, then you're going to continue your writing that you've been working on. So this is where you're going to start your body paragraphs. Okay, so you started with brainstorming and then you did planning. You wrote a good introduction and now it's time to work on your body paragraphs. Please read these pages carefully. It gives you some really useful information and it tells you how to write good strong body paragraphs, okay? As you get writing, it's gonna give you a checklist. Read through these and make sure you know what each of them means. If you don't, you need to go to Miss Coates Zoom for office uh, help time. Okay, they show you the writing prompt again. It's the same one you've been working on. Okay, and they give you the example. Hey, don't forget, use your graphic organizer. You already have the information. Now take the information you have and you're turning that into a good body paragraph in a Google Doc. For lesson three, module five, lesson three, you will be submitting to me your graphic organizer because at this point you've already completed it and now you've moved on to writing. So your graphic organizer, you might add a little more to it, but you're pretty much done. So for lesson three, when you get to the submission, you are going to hit the plus sign and you're gonna add the compare and contrast graphic organizer. I even show you that here, okay? So make sure you pay attention to what all the pages tell you to do. So lesson three, you get to writing your body paragraphs, you finish your graphic organizer so that you just have everything there, and now you just can go on and work on the writing. So that's why you're go ahead and turning in that graphic organizer to me. So if in lesson three, you worked on, well in lesson two, you worked on your introduction and your planning, in lesson three, you took your planning and you went ahead and wrote your body paragraphs, which is where you explain your reasons. You support your opinion. Now in lesson four, it's time for you to write your conclusion. Now remember, you're doing the writing is a whole separate thing. You might spend an hour working on the other pages and then spend at least 30 minutes working on just the writing. Okay, so you're gonna write your conclusion. Use some information even gives you a little video, gives you the checklist, like, hey, make sure you've done these things. So this is lesson four, and it tells you, make sure, so it gives you an example, and it says, make sure that you have everything you need. You're restating your main, your main idea. You're restating your opinion. And think about, this is the last thing your reader is going to read. What do you want them to remember? When they're all done, with your writing piece. So when you get to the end of this lesson, you look at the summary, you look at the wrap up, you're gonna be taking a quiz. So you're not necessarily turning your entire writing into me at, during this lesson, you'll be doing that next. But if you don't work on your writing as you go through the lessons, it's gonna be very stressful when you get to the end and you realize you weren't prepared. So here you are in lesson five now, lesson five. Revise, revise, revise. So this is where you've written your writing. You've got your introduction. You have three body paragraphs, each one explaining your, uh, your reasons for your opinion and a conclusion. Well, writing is never perfect the first time you do it. So it's time to make it better. It's gonna give you, uh, give you an, an acronym here you can use, ARMS, add details, remove unnecessary words, move sentences, substitute words. Listen, writing is tough, I know that, but it needs to be your work. So if you need help, make sure you come and ask me for help in Zoom. If you ask an adult for help, make sure that you take that help and then you do the work on your own, okay? So same writing prompt you've been working on. You're gonna be doing the revising and you're gonna add a title to your writing. So you can keep flipping back to your Google Doc where your writing is to make it better, okay? Lesson five. So 
You're almost there. You've made it better. You're going to go back through again with your editing. Do you have capitals where they belong? Do you have punctuation like you need to? Commas. Did you put space in between the paragraphs? Did you indent the first line in each paragraph? If you need to watch this video again and listen and make sure that you are doing all the things you're supposed to be doing, make sure you do that. So look, fifth grade, you're, you're going through this process a little more quickly than you have in the past years because you should be used to the writing process now. So here in lesson five, Okay, you had, you've had time throughout these lessons, but it's not until lesson five that you're actually doing the editing and the revising and the publishing. Publishing is where you make sure it is ready to go. So you can open up this checklist, go through these things one by one, and if you can say yes to all of these things, if you can check all of them off, say yes to all of them, then your writing is good. Okay, and in lesson five, you are actually going to be submitting your final copy. I don't just want the graphic organizer. I want your actual work. I want your typed up essay. So if you wrote it and that's where you fixed it up, take what you wrote and type it out. Share that Google Doc with me. Share that writing with me. And that's going to be right here in Buzz in the submission. Big grade for the whole module. But look, it's not until lesson five that you actually turn that in. So it's very important. Don't rush ahead. Take your time working on this writing and you'll be amazed at the work that you can do. After you've turned in your final writing, the only other thing you're going to do in module five is take the test. Okay, the module five assessment. Be prepared. Okay, make sure that you are prepared before you start. If you need to, go back through the lessons, maybe practice some of the activities. But those are the big things, right? Your writing that you turned in, and then this module five assessment, which is the test. So do your best, ask for help if you need help, and don't wait for the last minute.